sleeve gastrectomy, this is the most commonly performed surgery throughout the United States at this point. So um, let's watch a little video. There we go. All right, so the way the surgery is done, it's done laparoscopically through small cuts on the belly wall. Uh, through these small cuts, we place these. Uh, so these are small cuts. We, uh, so we place these cannulas or tubes through which we can introduce our surgical instruments into the uh, abdominal cavity. So this is the food pipe. This is the stomach, and this is the intestine. So the stomach is very large. It's very capacious. It can hold anywhere between one to one and a half liters of food. That's almost three to five cups of food at a time. So what we do in the surgery is that we remove about 90% of the stomach, 85 to 90% of the stomach. So uh, we remove this, this uh, stretchy portion of the stomach so that you end up with a, with a stomach that's only about half a cup in size. And the way this surgery works is, first of all, you eat really sm small amounts of food that can be accommodated right here. And with that big portion of stomach that you just saw being removed from the belly, uh, your hunger gets very well controlled. So one of the biggest benefits of the surgery is hunger control as well besides uh, portion control. So the food goes down the food pipe into the stomach and then goes into the intestine and digestion happens normally. So as you can see, there's a dramatic difference in the size of the stomach. All right, so there we go, sleep distracting me. So we're back to the screen. Um, it, it's a it, the surgery typically takes less than an hour. Nowadays we do it for the most part, uh, same day you go home the same day of the surgery. Um, we uh, make sure you're able to meet certain criteria before we discharge you. And it's pretty successful in helping patients lose weight. So on average, patients could lose about 60, uh, about, uh, 60 to 65% of their extra body weight. So that's a very substantial extra body weight loss. Um, one of the bigger benefits of this surgery compared to the other ones is hunger control. So of all the surgeries that we offer, this surgery offers the best hunger control. Okay. So that's the sleeve gastrectomy. It's uh, it's almost uh, 70 to 80 percent of all surgeries done for weight loss right now in the United States is uh, this one. All right, so let's talk about the gastric bypass. Now, this surgery it's been around a lot longer than the sleeve. It's been around for many decades, and it's been perfected over that time. And it's it's um, uh, the way we do it right now, it's been done this way for almost 25 years. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a, a surgery that that's actually withstood the test of time is how, like, how I like to put it. Um, but this is more surgery than the sleep gastrectomy, certainly. Uh, that, that's a concern that our patients express sometimes. Uh, and what this involves, well, we do have a video. Here we go. Just like the sleep gastrectomy, this surgery involves... Um, it uh, is also done through small cuts on the belly wall. So we make several of these small cuts on the stomach wall through which we introduce our surgical uh, ports and our surgical instruments. Um, so again, so food pipe, stomach, intestine. Uh, in, this, uh, in this surgery, what we do is we make a small stomach pouch where the food pipe meets with the stomach right here. So we separate this top area of the stomach from the remaining portion of the stomach. Give the video a second to catch up. There we go. All right, so the top portion of the, uh, of the stomach has been separated from the rest of the stomach. What we do next is that we divide the intestine about a third of the way down and bring up this divided end of the intestine and hook it up to that pouch that we just created. So here you go. We divided the intestine about a third of the way down and this lower end of the intestine, we bring it up and join it to this pouch that we've created. So the food now travels down the food pipe into the pouch and straight into the intestine. This portion of the intestine and stomach makes all the digestive juices, the, the digestive enzymes, and we reconnect this intestine right here. So in essence, what's happening here is that you eat small amounts of food, but not all the food that you eat gets digested and absorbed because um, a significant portion of it just gets delivered into the large intestine, uh, undigested. And so this surgery works by... Um, First of all, reducing your portion size to some degree, but mostly by not letting you digest all the food that you're eating. Benefits of this surgery, pretty substantial weight loss, just like the sleep gastrectomy, maybe just a little bit better than the sleep sometimes in some patients. Um, another big benefit is improvement of medical health, just like with the sleep gastrectomy, your medical health will improve as you lose the weight, especially diabetes. Uh, so diabetes improvement after this surgery is pretty, pretty remarkable. Um, 
And overall, uh, this is also quite safe. And then we uh, uh, recently started to do the same day as well. So you have, you have the surgery and you are able to go home the same day. All right. So that's the gastric bypass. Another surgery, surgery that's, that was popular at one point is the gastric band. Now, up until about 2011, 2012, this almost 20, about 30 to 40% of surgeries were used to be a gastric band. Uh, but since then, because the sleeve was so successful and uh, actually more successful than the lab band, uh, patients started choosing to go with the sleeve gastrectomy. Now, we don't really have a video for this, but I'll describe this to you. Uh, what we do here is that we place this inflatable band, uh, inflatable ring around the top portion of the stomach that's connected to a tube. And this tube is connected to this port right here. And the way this works is that we can stick a needle in here and adjust how much fluid is present in the system and thereby change the pressure around the uh, top portion of the stomach. Uh, the way this uh, procedure is supposed to work is that it helps control your hunger by providing just the right amount of squeeze around the top portion of the stomach. Uh, it's a, also a same day surgery, fairly, um, you know, it's a quick surgery as well. Uh, weight loss is about half of what you see with the other surgeries. So. Certainly, in terms of weight loss, the other two surgeries are uh, are a lot more successful than, than this one. 